Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous short video about Raspberry Pi OS Trixie, what are the new features? Yeah, they just came out with a new Raspberry Pi OS named Trixie. I was caught off guard because, yeah, looking at the new features, that's what the video was about, but you scroll down to the bottom of the article and I find out something that I just did not know before. Yeah, there it is right there. Ad additional option for newer Raspberry Pis. This is if you're using the Raspberry Pi 5, 500 or 500 plus, you can boot directly into Raspberry Pi Imager. So my Raspberry Pi right now has Bookworm on it and you don't want to boot up Bookworm and I, I don't want to pull the card out and format it and <laughs> put the new image on there. So if you're connected to the internet with an ethernet cable, you press and hold the shift key and then you connect the power and that's how you boot into Imager. So here's my Raspberry Pi 5, got my ethernet cable plugged in here. There's my keyboard. There's the shift key on my keyboard. I have this inline switch. It's basically female to male USB-C with a switch in the port there. That's real convenient. Uh, I recommend those. I'll look for a link down below. I'll have one in the description there. Okay, let's go ahead and hold down the shift key now. All right, and we're connected up. Now, this process took about a minute and a half downloading the Raspberry Pi imager. Yeah, it just booted directly into downloading the Raspberry Pi imager. I'm going to crop some of this out here. Like I said, it was a minute and a half. There we go. That's towards the end. We come back from the crop there. Don't want to waste all your time anyway. <laughs> I try to keep things moving. All right. So it's starting the installer. And then it just boots right up into Raspberry Pi. Looks just like the Raspberry Pi imager on your desktop. So what's the first thing we need to do is we need to choose a device. There we go. All right, we're gonna use the Raspberry Pi 5 and that covers the 500, 500 plus. I'm gonna poke around here a little bit on the OS. Yeah, that top one I think is the one I want, Raspberry Pi desktop. But let's go down into Raspberry Pi Other. Yeah, there's also a 32-bit Trixie. Yeah, let's see. I want to go into Raspberry Pi Other. Oh, maybe that's the one I want. <laughs> Looking back, I should have gotten that one because it has all of the uh, rep recommended applications as well. There's 64-bit uh, version with no desktop, etc. Okay, we just take that first one, the recommended one at the top. First, I didn't see it. Yeah, there's an SD card right there at the top of the list. Yeah, go ahead and click on that. Let's hit next. So do we want to use OS customization settings? I think we will do that. I'm not going to change the host name. I rarely look for the host on the network. They're probably all called Raspberry Pi. <laughs> I'm not going to enable SSH at this point. Let's see. I don't want to eject the media. That's not necessary. And playing a sound when it's finished, that might be nice. And I'm going to disable telemetry. Let's see. What do we want to do here? There's a lot of things you can configure here. I want to add a username. I'm going to add my favorite user, Shotoku Tech. I, that, that guy's awesome. Yeah, so we'll put Shotoku Tech in here. There we go. Now I'm going to type in my password there. I have to blur it because it shows the letter briefly before it turns into a star. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. There are the passwords in. Well, let's, let's configure Wi-Fi. We're hooked up to Ethernet, obviously. That's how we got booted directly into Imager, but it'd be nice to have Wi-Fi configured and enabled anyway, just in case. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the letter U to get US. While I'm down there, I'm going to set my locale settings. There we go. I got to scroll all the way down to America, Phoenix. So we've got a ways to go here. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. There we go. America, Phoenix. That gives you uh, mountain standard time with no uh, daylight savings time switch. Okay, I'm putting in my SSID and password. Blurring that out so you're not wheezing off my Wi-Fi when you drive by my house. Let's hit save. And now it's 
wants to confirm whether we're going to use the OS customization settings. And I'm going to do that because we just went through all that trouble. It's telling me here it's going to wipe everything off of that media. This process took about five minutes. We'll crop some of it out. It's actually writing as it downloads. Yeah, so here we get up to about 2% and I decided to crop it. Like I say, it took five minutes. There we are almost to the end there at 98%. And now it's verifying. Verifying took about a minute and 15 seconds. There we go. I cropped some of that out too. Now verifying is done at this point and it starts up and boots into the Raspberry Pi desktop. <laughs> it, it rebooted a couple of times and here's Trixie. Uh, stay tuned for the next video because this, this was really separate. It was something new I didn't know how to boot into Raspberry Pi Imager directly on Raspberry Pi 5, 500, 500 plus. So it doesn't really relate directly to Trixie. Uh, you could certainly load any of the other operating systems available in Imager. So in the next video, we'll drill into the new features of Trixie on the Raspberry Pi. And if you haven't seen my previous video, go ahead and check it out. Leave a comment down below, give this video a like, and before you watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.